All right, audience. Um, as you can see, the date down here at the bottom of the screen is Thursday, October 3rd, 2013, 1 a.m. Well, now it's 11 a.m. A couple hours I gotta go to orientation at a new job. Uh, I just I was looking through my email today, and I was checking my email because I was gonna send my uh, a friend of mine um, an email because um, I got a new cell phone and. Um, you know, and I was just wanting to give him the number. And I noticed this right here. Ashley Madison is the world's leading married dating service for discreet encounters. <clears throat> Alright, I had watched, a, a, I think, The Disposable Human Doing, who's a friend and colleague of mine. And I think he told me about Ashley Madison, and um, I think we checked it out on like either YouTube or like search for it on the web, or he heard an advertisement. So anyway, I'm gonna open this here, and uh, <clears throat> and oh my gosh, Ashley Madison, yeah, is the world's leading married dating service for discreet encounters. Um, so basically, it's a site where, like, you go to cheat on your spouse. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, let's go to look at it. Wow. Now, what do we see here? We see a woman. Obviously, this is Photoshopped or even computer generated. But it's a woman. Oh, with a, with a wedding ring on her finger. Wow. Yeah, she's married. <clears throat> and uh 100% like-minded people as seen on Hannity, Howard Stern, Time, Business Week, Sports Illustrated, Maxim, USA Today. And um uh, 100 discreet 100% uh, discreet service. Well, let's look at the frequently asked questions. Mhm. Mm all right. Wow. Life is short. Have an affair. Wow. Sounds like privilege. Um. Let's see. Are there any singles on Ashley Madison? There are many single people on Ashley Madison that wish to meet attached people for various reasons. <clears throat> if you are single and wish to meet an, a, an attached person, basically meaning a married person, um, you're probably going to have to try a little bit harder. Single people don't have uh, as much to risk. We suggest that you remain patient and keep trying. Wow. People in relationships may feel you have an upper hand and that you may not be sympathetic to their circumstances. Take your time to build an additional level of trust with attached people uh, you wish to meet. Alternatively, single people have more, flexible, uh, more flexibility with their schedule and are usually more available. Singles are more apt to work within your limitations since they have few boundaries. Single people can also be um, more fun to be with. Uh, their guard is down and they don't care who sees them. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is, just, this is just like a recipe for exploitation. Oh man, y you always hear about how men cheat. Uh, in relationships and in marriages and all that, but um, from what I look here, it, it, from what I see here, it, it it sure seems like women are the ones who are uh, willing to cheat. Um, let's put, uh, yeah, life is short, have an affair. Now, what this suggests here is it, obviously it, it nurtures uh, impulsiveness, and. <clears throat> It basically, um, uh, you know, just really stirs up, and uh, you know, the, the whole Brifault's law. I mean, that, that's that's kind of what categories it it, it hits into. Uh, single males seeking females. You're almost done. Let's put in some stuff.
I don't know. Yeah, you need to pet one this year. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. <clears throat> no, this. Well. No, we'll just put in pet it. Her password. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, greeting. Um, date of birth. Well, I guess we'll just give it what it gives it. Or we'll just, yeah. Limits. I don't know. Undecided because it's true. Height. I want to put that I'm six foot weight. I don't know. I'm like, mm. I'm going to put in like, mm. I'm going to be, I'm going to be thin. Yeah, body type. Yeah, I'm, I'm fit. Yeah. <laughs> Ethnicity, um, rather not say, um, an email. <laughs> oh yeah, email addresses. You should pet the beak at petitnow.info. <laughs> Add a discreet photo. Oh, what what uh what what photo should I do? Tell you what, oh man, cancel that. Um, no, <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, what should I use? Should I put Ariel Castro or should I? I should go with this. Under maintenance, new, whatever. Discreet photo most recently used. <laughs> uh, take advantage of our tools to, extra, uh, uh, to add an extra level of discretion and, and, and character to your photos. What's with. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be crazy. I just gotta make sure I'm not laughing too loud to like screw up the <clears throat> to screw up the. No, okay, I'm I'm doing good on the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I should totally mock it. <laughs> we'll do the most
<laughs> Spend 20 seconds to to, to greatly increase your chances of standing out by telling women a little about yourself. <laughs> Let oh, here we go. Let the women on Ashley Madison know what brought you here. <laughs> so I say EL James uh, and just in case you're not familiar with that, um Yeah. Oh, I definitely gotta bookmark this picture. <clears throat> no, it's under maintenance, so it don't matter. E.L. James. Um, yeah, she's a 50 year old woman, and she wrote uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And, um,. Yeah, she said in an interview that she was influenced by the Twilight series or saga. <clears throat> oh yeah, she also said that uh, she does not want uh, her her children to to know about her books. And her book is basically, I mean, it is pornography, you know. And just because it doesn't have any pictures doesn't mean it's not porn. It's just basically pornography in the written form. <clears throat> But, uh, wow, setting the record for the fastest selling. Wow. The combined novels have sold over 35 million copies in, in the United States and over 70 million copies worldwide. Yeah, so, so uh, we're looking at 105 million copies of our book so far <clears throat> have been sold. Setting the record as the fastest selling paperback of all time. And, uh, wow, As, uh, in 2012, which was last year, Time Magazine named her one of the most, one of the world's most 100 influential people. Um, yeah, and you, if you ever notice the, um, the clientele, the, the, uh, the, um, the, the customer base of her books are women. Okay. Well, so I'm pretending to be what what E. L. James uh, was just you know writing about you know Christian Grey. <clears throat> so um, yeah, this is women. This Ashley Madison is a website for women who are looking to cheat on their husbands. So uh, I describe about myself. I say E. L. James definitely wrote her books about me. I'm rich as fuck, crazy as you wouldn't believe. I got more tattoos than your dad would approve of, and my criminal rap sheet <laughs> has to be carried in a delivery van. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah. Save and finish. Must not contain bad words. <clears throat> well, 
let's put it this way. I got... Alright. Did it this way. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, here's a woman in uh, New York. Uh, her limits are whatever excites her. She's single, female, seeking males. Okay, well, it says she's single, but... um. Oh, here's a woman, 42 years old, which is nine years older than me. Um, She probably smokes like a chimney. Oh, I am the sunshine of my life. Laugh out loud. Yeah, you better. No, my limits are anything goes. Wow, imagine that. Uh, her status, attached female seeking male. So she's basically married uh, and looking to cheat on her husband. <clears throat> Here's another one. She's 28. Um, she's, what, five years younger than me. Well, it says she's single. Her limits are undecided. Um, okay, here's a 39-year-old. So she's like, what, mm six years older than me oh she's married and she's looking to cheat on her husband that's what attached female seeking males uh, is, means wow here's a uh, here's um here's another uh, wife uh, in her early 30s looking to cheat on her husband um here's another one um, oh, wow she's in a cyber affair erotic chat Attached female seeking males. That means that she's a married woman looking to cheat on her husband. Um, yeah. Very hypergamous. Uh, single female looking, uh, seeking, okay, yeah. Um, now, now, what this stuff means <coughs> is uh, it's definitely, you know, revolves around Brifault's law. Well, you know, that comes into play. What it is, these women, they want the benefit of being in, in, a, in a marriage, you know, the, the husband to pay the bills and to run off anybody she doesn't want um, and to have a place to live. Oh, wow, look at this. Natural born creamer, 45 years old, anything goes. She's married and she's looking to cheat on her husband. That's what it means with her status is she's an attached female seeking uh, males. So... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so what it is, yeah, these women, they, they want all the benefits of being married and that sort of thing um, so that society thinks that, you know, that they're faithful and, and, and wonderful and trustworthy and normal and all that. Basically, it's camouflage. Um, and, you know, but... Uh, you know, she's not satisfied with the commitment part of, uh, of her marriage... So she wants to get some extra on the side, you know. She wants to be able to, uh, you know, go out on a date and uh, have some sex with um, most likely a younger male who will make, who will basically bring her what she's missing in the marriage, which is excitement. And yeah, and this is women, you know, doing it. <clears throat> Take advantage of our affair guarantee. Over one million satisfied members. I mean, you look at it. This is the this is the female, the human female, taking the initiative to cheat on her husband. International affairs. Wow, it's it just it just never ends, does it? Oh, this doesn't surprise me. Scorpio princess in her early 30s. And, yeah, yeah, and she's probably got a bunch of tattoos because it says, you know, she's voluptuous and curvy. <clears throat> she's probably got a bunch of tattoos and piercings. She's probably some kind of pagan uh, into, like, New Age stuff and all that. Yep, yeah, single female seeking males. Yeah, oh, her limits are whatever excites her. That's not a surprise. Um, uh, pet one 2013 become a priority man. You are currently appearing on 70 pages. 70 on page 70 of search. You can appear uh, heightened in the top three results of each page. 
for, for uh, all for only 99 cents a day. <clears throat> it totals uh, $29.70 a month. Yeah, it's not even worth my time. And <laughs> Oh my god. Can you see what I'm looking at here? This is Ashley Madison, and I just made some, like, some fake bogus, like, profile. <clears throat> uh, we'll put, like, I don't know, within 500 miles. And we're looking for age, I don't know. Well, look at this. Age 30 to, like, age 60. Anytime. Okay, search. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Well, look at this one. Age 31. Her limits are whatever excites her. She's an attached female seeking a male. Basically, she's married or engaged. And here's a 42 year old and her limits are whatever excites her. She's an attached female, you know, she's married or in engaged uh, and she's seeking to cheat on her husband. Well, what, oh, okay, this is single. Uh, we'll go up to age um, 48 to 60. We'll get some older women in here. So there's a 50-year-old woman. Her limits are something long-term. Wow, that's no surprise. Uh, her status. She is basically married, and she's looking to cheat on her husband. That's a 50-year-old. All right, here's a 49-year-old. Uh, her limits are anything goes. Uh, her status is that she's married. Uh, you know, it says attached female seeking males. But see, keep in mind that Ashley Madison <clears throat> uses, as, as I shown earlier in this, um, in, in this video, that, you know, a, a attached uh, means, you know, either married or engaged or in a relationship. But but basically it means that they are preoccupied with somebody else. That's what it, that's what they're they're using the word attached to describe that. So she's basically married and she's seeking a man, most likely younger than her. Um. Okay. Here we go. Age fifty two. <clears throat> she's in New York, New York. Her limits are whatever excites her. Well, that's no surprise. I mean. It, Women live in this world where you know. I mean, and, and see, it's it's afforded to them by by female privilege, and of course that goes into you know the whole market forces of supply and demand when it comes to access to reproductive resources, and validation, and of course the male mother need where, you know the uh, the, the the mother of the male was the only woman presumably in his life that treated him you know like a person. <clears throat> Rather than a uh, rather than a, a utility or an ATM machine or um, or a scapegoat, and the the human male remembers this, um, and he remembers that his mother was the only woman who generally treated him like a person and took care of him, and made him feel you know feel like a person, and that sort of thing. So he basically yearns to go back to that time period. Uh, but he can't do that with his mom, so he tries to do it with other females. He's, you know, it's basically a, a gullibility to believe that all females um, will will treat him like his mother did, and um, and actually love him unconditionally. And it's basically a, a kind of a delusion uh, where he mistakes the average woman's capability of being a mother and, and mistakes that for, you know, her actually having motherly compassion for all males. So it's kind of a bit of a misnomer. <clears throat> all right, now, okay, now let's, um, let's 
Do uh, who is Quarry? Oh no. Let's see who owns this website. So it's in Canada, or at least that's where it's registered. Admin. Uh, safe names has, well. Wow. So there's the information on that. It was created in no, on November 13th of 2001, that website was, or whatever, but here's the register information. <clears throat> if you ever want to know uh, who runs a website, do who is query. Who is? Let's remember that. So anyway, <clears throat> um, so yeah, and I mean th th these women, you know, when see women, they 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 live in this delusional fantasy world uh, afforded to them by um, gynocentrism. Um, and like I mentioned, there's the male mother need that I that I described, but also, um, you know, market forces. You know, it's kind of like you know the person that has the gold makes the rules, or the hand that that is above, or the, the hand that gives is above the hand that receives, or the hand that gives is superior to the hand that receives. You know, it's it's um, it's a lesson in advantage and disadvantage, and because the human female has the reproductive components. <clears throat> or the golden uterus, as Stardust uh, describes it, she can command effectively any price uh, uh, for access to it. And the male, you know, like I said, he's yearning uh, to feel like a person and, and to to satisfy, uh, you know, the, these um, these feelings that um, that. Uh, that that he thinks that the that the human female will you know make him feel complete and all that so he's willing to spend whatever it takes and plus you know society says you know that if a man's not with a woman then he's less than a man and all that <clears throat> so there's validation issues that women stir up um, yeah look at this I mean look she's 55 years old five foot two 200 pounds what is that what's the BMI on that um, Five foot two, two hundred. Five foot two, two hundred. Oh. Okay, so this woman right here, uh, Telecom Cutie, is basically about thirty-six BMI. Uh, that's body mass index. She is um, uh, class two obese. <clears throat> You know, she's in a class 2 obesity range. Uh, her limits are whatever excites her. Well, that's not a surprise that she's just trying to satisfy uh, impulse and all that. Okay, she's a single female seeking male. She probably divorced her husband or whatever. Now, here's a 52-year-old. Um, look at her. She's, she's in her early 50s. Her limits are whatever excites her. She is a married woman, you know, looking to cheat on her husband. I mean, at what age does this stop? I mean, th these are women. Well, let's let's make sure they're all in their fifties, fifty-two through, <clears throat> uh, through sixty-four. Now here's a sixty-year-old woman looking to cheat on her husband. Uh, where are you? Um, oh, look at this. Yeah, 52-year-old. Yeah, her limit is whatever excites her. She's a married woman looking to cheat on her husband. I mean, like, at what age does this stop? You know what I mean? I mean, people say that it's just the young girls, and yeah, it is young girls doing this, but like, it's older women, too. The point is, women do whatever they want. View profile. Huh. Oh, I'm age 35, that's right. Um, and I live in New York. My limits are undecided. Uh, yeah. 
smoking habits, yeah, not specified, and uh, who viewed me? Uh, nobody's viewed my profile, okay, mailbox, do I got anything in there? Um... No, it don't even matter. Matter of fact, if I leave this thing on here for an hour, they'll have like some bogus like bot on a server like send me a message and pretend that it's from some attractive female and all that, and then it's basically bait on a hook, like you know, and they're, they're just basically fishing for me, and they're, they're trying to exploit my gullibility and all that, which you know I'm not nearly as gullible as I used to be uh, like 15 years ago. Uh, because I've learned that, that women are not worth pursuing and that they're actually more trouble than they're worth. Let's just say here. Panic? What's the panic? Oh, I know what it is. Mm hmm. Oh, here it is. Oh, I just found that right there. And look, look at that. That is clever. So, so like. So you'll be a woman, <clears throat> and um, you know, look, you know who's who's most likely married or engaged, and looking to cheat on your husband. And in the event that your husband walks through the room to go get his cup of coffee to go to work in the morning, you just hit the panic button, and all of a sudden it goes to topics, and and it's like, you know, and it's like, it would not. Let's do a who is Corey on this and see who owns this. Okay, apparently it's, it might be a different company, but it wouldn't surprise me <clears throat> if, um, you know, like the people that made Ashley Madison made up the, you know, it's, the point is, it's like, it's there to protect women from consequence, for, you know, for, for cheating on their husbands. I mean, look at how clever this is. Oh my gosh. It just yeah. So so yeah, if you're a woman cheating on your husband, you just just click the panic button right there. And then it switches you to a website and then it looks like you were just surfing some news site for like your local area or whatever. So, you know, it's something just, you know, really it switches from the conspicuous, which is the Ashley Madison site, to something that is inconspicuous, which is just, you know, your local news and weather or whatever. Oh my gosh. I wish the disposable human doing was here right now, but that's a good thing I'm making this video, you know? I found this in my... And where did I find this? It was in my mail. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and the disposable human doing told me about this site that he read it in an article somewhere or whatever. And then yeah, and then I and then what do you know? Uh, I checked my mail on uh, October third, two thousand thirteen. My email, and it's in my spam box or whatever. I'm gonna log out. I'm sick of this. Life is short. Have an affair. Wow, that definitely speaks to women because like, you know, men would be so shamed and all that. And women are see that's the thing. Women are worried about the social stigma of cheating and all that. But they find ways around it, and of course, you know they uh, they, uh, they 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 keep the blame going on men, so that because see, the human female is hiding a deep dark secret that she does not want society to know about, because ultimately, I mean, if you if you understand this the way I do, you'll see something within the human female, especially if you track her progress throughout history. <clears throat> and track uh, her psychological development and see how basically, you know, there's, there, there, you know, deep within her something was brewing and then it finally manifests itself out whenever conditions are right to allow it to happen without consequence. I, 
I feel like I can't even explain it as well as I understand it, you know? It just, anybody can understand this. You just look at, just look at and analyze trends and and the way, anyway, dude, I, I just gotta, I, I, whatever. Um, but, uh, I, I just wanted to make this video and, um, we'll do a search for Online dating service and social network, uh, primarily uh, marketed pri primarily to people who are already in a relationship. With the slogan "Life is fair" or "Life is short, have an affair." Yeah, it did launch in two thousand one. Um, wow. The, the name of the site was created from two popular female baby names. Um. Uh, <clears throat> start up by a guy and it serves women oh okay the guy the guy at start up uh, Ashley Madison says that his website does not promote infidelity when responding to critics by saying we're just a platform no why no website or 30 second ad is going to convince anyone to cheat uh, women would argue to the contrary when it when it comes to men you know being suspected of cheating of course People cheat because their lives aren't working for them. Well, I guess. He has said that he writes the commercials for his company, which have featured two attractive people uh, in the throes of passion and the sign. Uh, this couple is married, but not to each other. It's such a hypergamy site, you know? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ashley Madison is a business being built on the backs uh, on the back of broken hearts, ruined marriages and damaged families. I mean, yeah, I mean it, it, it it's a hypergamy site, you know? I need to log in and check my stuff. All right. Wow. Who's he even talking to? Monster sauce. So this fucker thinks he's gonna, like, talk to me like that. You know, this one dude. So he starts bitching about, uh... <clears throat> yeah, so so this guy here, he says, Is this video serious? Three hours, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're both... Yeah, okay. And I said, then don't... You know, he's, he's bitching about my video and how long it is. That it's three hours long. I said, then don't watch it. Nobody has a gun to your head. And this dipshit here, Monster Sauce, says, Actually, I do. Now keep watching Enzyme or I'll blow your fucking head off. You know. Yeah, well, like. Anyway, dude's a dipshit. No, oh, what am I? Irrelevant. Name one irrelevant, or name one relevant thing uh, to society that women are doing. Besides trying as hard as they can and early am I to be men. Okay, well that's kind of cool, sort of. Your wife keeps your tiny nuts in her trail mix bag, right? Yeah, is it just a troll? Oh, he's saying I'm fat like Buddha. <coughs> Sadie Heilman, alright. 
That's, that's an awful lot of unfounded assumptions. Silly person, project much. Someone is you know, too young and ignorant to do math properly. Someone married uh, to a young woman 20 years ago and together. We somehow managed to maintain an adult relationship for a long period of time. Your childishness uh, and ignorance shows your, your, uh, in your statement. And there is no age limit to the use of popular saying. If the troll label fits, it's obvious they'll point it out. Who is she talking to? Okay, she's talking to uh, Monster Sauce about that, so that's all cool. Um, let's see what, what subscriptions I got. Here, um, that game is actually pretty cool. Right, Girl Rights What? It's got some new videos. All right. Um, Spatry, he's pretty cool. Re revenge porn is now illegal in California. Wow. Uh, mundane medicine. Chili's lunch break combos starting at just six bucks. Served on a toasted <coughs> pretzel roll, our new bacon avocado chicken sandwich comes with fries and your choice of soup or salad. No, it does look good. It's just one of delicious lunch break combos. More life happens here. On October 1st, 2013, Governor Jerry Brown in California signed a bill outlawing revenge porn and levying possible jail time for people who post naked po photos of their exes after bitter breakups. Uh, this bill, Senate Bill 255, which takes effect immediately, makes it a misdemeanor to post identifiable nude pictures of someone else. On October 1st, 2013, Governor Jerry Brown in California... Who is a mangina and white knight... Yeah, signed a bill outlawing revenge porn and levying possible jail time for people who post naked po photos of their exes after bitter breakups. Uh, this bill, Senate Bill 255, which takes effect immediately, makes it a misdemeanor to post identifiable nude pictures of someone else online without permission uh, and with the intent to cause emotional distress or humiliation. The penalty, however, is up to six months in jail and a thousand dollar fine. Six months? That's... That's a bit harsh. I could understand, like, the $1,000 fine, but jail time? That's, I mean, that's the threat. But, you know, hey, 2.3 million Americans are currently incarcerated. So what's, what's, one, more, what's one more to the mix, right, guys? That's, it's not going to be a thing at all, right? Of course not. Um, <laughs> until now, there apparently had been no real tool for law enforcement to help protect the victims. And so that's why I think this bill is good because, yeah, revenge porn, is maybe funny in the moment, but if you're like my ex-roommate, he had thousands and thousands of, uh, of pictures on his computer, pictures and videos of his of his ex-girlfriend that he was with for, for, I think, for five years and stuff. And when they broke up, those things happened to find their way online. Um, I think he blocked her face. I'm not too sure. I never saw him. I never asked. Um, I'm just saying it's like revenge porn is an issue. Uh, I, I don't like it. I don't think we should ever... People should ever really do it. It doesn't serve a purpose other than just to humiliate your ex for no real reason other than just to be a dick or an asshole. And yes, women do it too. They post dick pics of guys and shit. So it's it's a two-way thing. It's it's not, you know, specifically related to one sex or another. Um, so, yeah, but I'm okay with this. However, oddly enough, the ACLU tried to block it, uh, saying that it might restrict free speech rights. And Florida did the same thing. It had a bill that was similar, uh, but they struck it down because of First Amendment concerns. So I guess if the person takes the picture uh, with consent and, and you know, I mean, is that, that going to be a thing now? Like you're going to enter into a relationship with somebody and you, you take new sexy photos, photos of each other? Do you have to get like a consent form now? Is that a thing? I'm not too sure. So, you know, it, we'll find out as this law progresses. But anyway, just curious to know what you guys think of the subject. Uh, my name is Monday Matt. Uh, you guys can find more from me at mundanematt.tumblr.com, twitter.com slash themundanematt, or facebook.com slash mundanematt. 
please like, comment, rate, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and I'll see all you guys later. And remember, no more revenge porn. It's now illegal in California. All right, see you guys. All right, that's that. Now let's check my... Um... <clears throat> Shit, I keep getting more subscribers. I mean, I, I left work. I left for work about mm, almost 24 hours ago, and I had like 208 subscribers. I come home mm, at about mm, 11.30 p.m., no, about 12 hours later, and I had gotten four more subscribers, bumped up to 212. So that averages... Um, one subscriber every three hours for yesterday, which is October second. Um, and then, and then again in the past twelve hours, I got two subscribers. And I don't ask for subscribers. Um, I, I, I don't ask. I, I don't tell people to subscribe. I don't tell people to like my stuff. Um, as you've seen, you know, I told well, I told one person to stop watching my videos and all that. But. Um, yeah, a lot of my videos have been lately about uh one, two, three, four, five. You know, I've been about Linux and all that. Uh, now I'm finally getting into one about like gender issues and all that once again. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, but what did I just see back here? Oh yeah, the world's first 8K camcorder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, there's some good stuff on here. If you want to subscribe, Barbarossa is awesome. You know, subscribe to him. Stardusk is excellent. So is uh, Karen Strawhan, you know, Girl Rights What. Monday Mad nah, he's all right. That cynical cynicism is really good. Even Barbarossa mentioned that that cynical cynicism is really good. Blocking Mr. E right here. Oh, my gosh. He, he officially declared, you know, made me his enemy on September 17th of 2013. Typhon Blue's pretty all right. Thunderfoot's good. Chapin, he's all right. Uh, oh, there's there's the killer right there, Miley Cyrus. She she murdered uh, Hannah Montana. This guy's pretty good. Lacey Green is such a big. Uh, oh my gosh, she's so. Uh, anyway, John the other, he, he's all right. Uh, this is Shake right here. He's good. H T R K. Well, his channel got taken down, but yeah, he's good. Quid's up. He's good. He's not about gender issues. He's about, like, computer technology and Linux. So, uh, yeah, he's really good. Dr. Claw right here, the Femetheist. I'm actually starting to like her newer stuff because she really did a really good video. And I know my fans and, and subscribers are going to really scratch their head about this. But, you know, I, I've ripped Dr. Claw's ass, like, really good. You know, the Femetheist, I ripped her ass really good about a year ago. No, almost a year ago. <clears throat> And, uh, but that's when I, you know, she was just saying stuff that was really annoying me. But now she's actually pretty cool. And she made that video about Caitlin Hunt where she actually, I'd have to say, just basically stands up for justice because, um, I mean, it seems like she's on our side regarding that issue or something like that. Or what, who even knows? Maybe she's just. But anyway, the, the video she made was really good, and I liked it a lot. Uh, Snake Pliskinus, I think he said his channel got taken down. He was pretty cool. Uh, Manhood Academy, they're cool. Dildo Faggins is really good. I like that guy. Man Woman Myth is excellent. Well, there's Haiti Perry. Amazing Atheist, he's pretty all right. I haven't watched any of his stuff lately. Uh, Ignore Gender, he's you know, he's all right. Um, He's still kind of stuck in that realm of you know like being frustrated about the, the, the double standard. Infinitely Galactic, he's good. Uh, he makes videos about Linux and software. Shadow MGTOW, he's good, but he don't make very many videos. Oh, Anita Sarkeesian, that, uh, you know, Feminist Frequency, oh, who, who could forget? There's all kind of other ones out there. Fetal Bogan's pretty good. Uh, he's getting better. Uh, Hard Kernel Odroid, yeah, they make you know, nice little single board computers. Dean Esme's pretty cool. Yeah, there's some cool ones out there. I mean, there's some good channels out there. Thermic Light, I like him. Um, James Farr makes, like, really good videos now. <laughs> Merging, like, video game and, like, 1980s phenomenon together. And it's just, oh, my gosh. It's really, really well made. Um, 
anyway, uh, so I'm just going to have to log out of here um, and uh, get my day started. My, uh, anyway, yeah, just look for stuff here. Oh, yeah, Salute Your Shorts. I remember him. Uh, yeah, them. And um, so, anyway, I'm going to end this video. And uh, yeah.